gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation. Yours truly, Eric Dieters, with my buddy, Nick Batista. Nick, how are you? I'm playing hurt today, Bulldog. You're playing hurt? I got a three-day-old toothache. But really, man. Oh, man, there ain't nothing worse than a toothache. You almost called off? Yeah, boy. I'm like your boy, John Moran. <laughs> Did you see him run to the locker room? Yes, yes. <laughs> hurt his hand. Well, let's talk about baseball. You go first. What did the Reds do today? Oh, they got crushed, but they last night they won 13 to nothing. Today they got beat 14 to 3. That's called a bad team. Man. That's what's going to happen with a bad they team had, all year. They had a weather delay, so I'm walking around and I, I flip it back on the station and they're getting beat 9 to nothing. I'm like, oh, that must be from earlier in the season. No. First inning, nine runs. I mean, first Jeez. inning, home run. Like six guys in a row get on, nine runs. Four, fourth place and dropping. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Well, Tampa Bay is awful. By the way, Tampa Bay streak ended at 13. Yeah. And now they've lost two in a row. But they won today. Well, okay, they're back on a winning streak. Because I was going to think, oh, my God, will they never win again? Well, I told you that, you know, baseball's it'll even itself out. But that tied a record, 13-0. Yeah. But, but only one team that started out 13-0, there's been four teams, only one's made the playoffs. Right, I saw that, too. That's crazy. And they're only three and a half games up on uh Toronto, I believe it is. Right. And Toronto's the one that knocked them out. Okay, NBA playoffs. We've been talking about it all spring. Mm. And it's finally arrived. And today they started, or excuse me, yesterday they started. And we, there were some great playoff games. Yeah. How about the Sacramento Kings? De'Aaron Fox, they beat the Warriors. Their first win in 17 years. Correct. Right, right. They lit the beam. You ever see that purple beam they got? They got oh, this purple right, beam. Right. Yeah. The Celtics beat the Hawks. Not unexpected. No. Uh, sorry about the they, yeah. the Knicks. The Knicks right. beat the, the Cavs. The had a hard weekend, boy. They beat the oh, Cavs, so man. Goodness. That was freaking awful. Uh, 76ers beat the Nets. The Lakers beat the Grizzlies today. And the Heat is are beating Milwaukee as we speak. You know why? With only five minutes left. Ya They're up 13. Playing. Giannis back issue. No kidding. Well, that explains it all. I'm convinced the NBA wants the Knicks and the Lakers in the playoffs. Gian Giannis? I didn't know Giannis wasn't playing. Yeah, I didn't either. Oh, my God. Uh, well, this is unbelievable. We've had Archie Manning. We've had Peyton Manning. Uh, we've had uh, yeah. Eli Manning. And Arch Manning is Cooper Manning's son, and he apparently is the, the big quarterback coming out of high school. He played his first spring game at Texas. Right. He chose Texas over Alabama. Why? I don't know, but he did. But uh, Sarkeesian, right? He, He's there. He, he, he apparently played. Do you think Arch Manning is going to be all of that in a bag of chips or not? Not this year. I, I tuned into that because uh, – because of that, he didn't even play that I saw. They've got two guys ahead of him on the depth. That is correct. Right? And the guy that started last year allegedly Hard. is the starter this year, but I don't believe it. Right. It's called Arch Manning will be starting. <laughs> I'm telling you, he will be starting. No, and as a freshman. Do you follow hockey? Uh, playoffs. Okay. Well, my uh, step stepson's played hockey. And so I kind of – I always liked hockey before. I used to go to hockey games, Stinger and Sword games with right, my cousin right. Josh. I've always liked hockey. Hockey's action, I, man. I, I, I like it. I got, and I love the movie Youngblood where Patrick yeah. Swayze does the toast and says, to hockey, the last sport for middle-sized white guy. <laughs> I mean, but hockey – I, I, hockey's exciting, and playoff hockey is really exciting. The Brewer, Bruins, mm -hmm. record year. 78 points. Oh, my God, man. And the, uh, the Caps and Pittsburgh do not make the playoffs forever. Pittsburgh fired their general manager. And and a couple others. Pa pa personnel. Paid their price. Outs. But we'll be able to cover in this boring time of sports. We'll be covering the NBA playoffs and NHL hockey playoffs. Trinity Thomas. You see this chick? I saw her. I mean, she got a 10 on her last co competition. I was telling Josh, okay? I went and looked it up. She's had 28 10s in her career. It's like a record. Well, no, it's tied. You're it's right. tied for a record. So if it's so easy what to get a great a 10, name, Trinity Thomas. Yeah, why don't they make it an 11 then? I mean, 28 10s. <laughs> It's the only sport where all the scores are subjective. That's we're, boxing. We're gonna up, we're gonna up it at all. I like that idea. Let's make an eleven now. We want Olympics to go for eleven. All right, uh, Sean Kemp, man, I love Sean Kemp because yeah. he was supposed to go to UK, and then I don't think he didn't go to UK, did he? And then he yeah. University of Kentucky, and he went somewhere else, or he. he was, I, 
man child. He was a man child. Maybe he decided to go pro instead of play at UK. I forgot. It's been so long ago. Oh, I think but I like this guy. He was a man yeah, child. He was a beast. Played for the Cavs. Now he faces a felony charge oh, man. of what assault. A weird story that is, right? Yeah. Tell, tell our audience what the story is. Road rage of some sort. Road rage. And, uh, he got in an argument. The guy, I guess the guy got lippy with me. He went back to his car and pulled out a gun, as they all do. I didn't pull a gun out on my nephew. And, I just yeah. followed him. <laughs> and you know how many guns I had in the truck at the time? Four, plus a knife. Nice. I didn't pull out any weapon. That's self-control. Right. He had a know. You don't, you don't pull out a gun unless you mean business. Mm. You don't pull out a gun unless you know it's going to be self-defense. Did he fire? I didn't get that far in the story. No, I don't think he did. Uh, now let's talk about something that's really near dear to your heart. Uh, FC Cincinnati are in first place. They're having an incredible year. Yeah, with what four ties or something? It's communist sport. With you don't you don't use your hands and you tie. If that's not communism. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> well, sports is like this week. You got anything else you'd like to add? Your commentary has been wonderful tonight. I just want to let you know. You. I've enjoyed your commentary. Great golf tournament. Uh, Jordan Spieth got beat on the third playoff. I saw that Fitzpatrick beat him. Mm -hmm. The Heritage came in second. Spieth lost. Yeah, the kid won the O. That must be a pretty dang easy course. Uh, the winner, like. On, uh, 18 under, 17 under. Yeah. Well, the, I guess the greens are as big hey, room. If we're, gonna, green. if we're gonna make it gonna be 11 instead of 10, why don't we make 19 holes now on the golf course? <laughs> Let's add a hole to the golf course. Is why we're at it. Make them 100 yards longer each hole. You do that. Uh, the uh, draft is coming up. Right. So we're gonna have that in a couple weeks. Good. That's good. Anything new of your your Cleveland Browns? What do you expect them to do in the draft? Mm, nothing. You know, they got. A, I think they got a fourth or fifth round pick. It's in KC this year. I'd like to go. Maybe I'll go. Maybe we ought to go. Yeah, I don't know. I like go. I would love to go to that one time. I don't know what. Wait, I can't go. I'm campaigning for governor. I don't have time to go to the That's guys' right. dang thing. Forget about it. I'm not going with you. No, you have anything no, else no in sports? In KC. Any final thoughts? No, I'm good. All right. We'll see you next week. Maybe there'll be something more fun and sports that we can report on. This week sucked. <laughs>